cancer should not define a person's personality or their destiny, but should be considered an illness just like any other that one can fight with the available treatment. These are the words of an adamant young cancer patient and activist, Nancy Muño, also known as Chichi, who's calling on all cancer patients to do away with self-pity and get out of their sorry zone and give meaning to their lives and those around them. NBC's Yuse Mavuku spoke to Chichi and compiled the special report. Bubbly, giggly and brave is how one would describe the radio and television personality Nance Muno, also known as Chichi to her listeners and viewers. In her mid-twenties, the young vibrant Chichi is battling with breast cancer for the past five years. One would say she's too young to go through this challenge, but the young woman refuses to let cancer bring her down. A Bachelor of Arts in Media Studies graduate, and master's student Chichi is going places, from radio to television and currently employed as a personal assistant to the Home Affairs Minister. She says although cancer has changed her perception about life, her personality and who she is has never changed. The disease has spread all over her spine, but the young lady is determined to stay afloat. It shouldn't derail you in terms of what it is that you'd like to do and achieve and so forth. I mean, we live in a modern world where treatment is available. You have no excuse whatsoever to feel sorry for yourself unless you choose to. It's a choice. If you've got HIV, for example, there's that option of ARVs. You take your ARVs as prescribed. Cancer, there's medication. It's a choice, after all, that you decide. Do you decide to live or not? And I've made a choice to live. I don't see why my illness should define who I am or how far I'd like to go in life. She attributes a supportive system of her family, friends, colleagues and Namibians at large as a pillar of strength in fighting cancer. Chichi encourages fellow cancer patients not to shy away from chemotherapy as it improves one's health after the treatment. As much as sometimes it's draining and you vomit and you sometimes just want to cry and you're weak and so, but it's really an option because if you think about it, would you rather not go in chemo and cut your life short or would you go through those couple of months, maybe couple of years of chemo and live a little longer? Chichi raises awareness on cancer in her own world through the social network, Facebook and personal calls that she receives from other patients. Yes, it may not be easy as a walk in the park, but if Chichi can stand and face cancer, why not you? Iuzamavku, NBC News, Vanduk.